hello everyone uh, welcome to part 54 of laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce admin panel first of all then we will work on the e-commerce website as well with all the new features that we have never done okay so we will continue working on the products module in which we are working on the add edit product functionality and this time we are going to work on the display delete product video okay so first of all we are going to display the product video we are going to display the link for the uh, for watching the video uh, for assessing the video and then we are going to add the delete link as well to for deleting the video from the folder as well as from the prex table okay so let's start so here you can see in the add edit product form we can able to see the product video as well see we have added the video if we have not added we, we can add the video as well so after adding the video we're going to show the video link as well so that uh, the admin or the client can able to check that which video he added for last time okay so you you, you can even show the video here but uh, that is not required we will just show the video link as well okay so let's uh, open the add edit product uh and here where is the video uh here it is so after this input uh we are going to add here that first condition that the video must not empty okay so not empty condition we are going to add here uh dollar product and here we are going to add product video and here and if Okay, so this one we are going to add here and here we are going to add actually okay and uh, here of target we are going to give the blank target and here the link for the video we are going to give the link for the video here okay so one thing I am uh, going to check the video here the link for the video as well uh, this is our folder project 10 public uh, front videos here but here we are directly adding the video uh, product videos here but uh, I am thinking like if in case uh, we are going to add any other videos like video for the home page or video for the categories video for the brand then I don't want to put all the videos uh, in just this videos folder I want to want want to categorize that okay so so that's why i'm going to add here one folder product underscore videos so i'm going to put all the videos inside this folder okay so i'm going to create inside this product under, un, underscore videos folder all the videos under product underscore videos so here also i'm going to update the path here as well product underscore videos so it it, it 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 is a good idea because sometimes the category videos also come suppose the category videos also come here so we will create a separate folder for the category videos so that we can able to identify them okay also see in images we have added the categories so here we can also do one thing like after videos we just require to add the products okay not the product uh, products okay like this see video see it is uh, understood that we are under the videos folder so these are the product videos like we are doing for the images as well under images see the categories is coming okay uh, see front okay so uh, when we will create the products images then we will create here the products folder okay so like this um, i am going to here just add the videos which products okay here uh, let, later on if we want to add the videos for the categories then we will add here the categories folder okay so i think uh, that uh, this makes sense so now the url also i'm going to add here uh, front then videos then after that uh, products okay and after that we are going to show the video link here uh okay so this is the video we're going to show like this okay so here we're going to end like this and here it will come view video and we're going to close it uh, and see first of all i think just this thing we need to check here 
whether this product is having any video no this product is not having any video i'm going to test this product is only one product is having video with the id i'm going to check its id fourth id okay so i'm going to open the product with the fourth id this one yellow t-shirt i am going to edit and we'll see the link for the video must come here here it is coming view video i'm going to click here see video i can able to assess the video here okay so it's working fine okay so the video link is here that's fine so now i am going to add the delete link as well uh, so that i can able to delete the video as well in case uh, we want to delete the video uh, after that i'm going to add it like this mbsp okay so here i'm going to add here uh, one more link uh, i am going to tell you that we are going to add the delete link common delete link that we are adding for all the modules okay so we have the common delete function in the jquery that we have created in the uh, in the beginning of the series if you have not watched the beginning of the series then you must watch we have the common function for delete so we are not required to make the extra effort okay so link we can simply copy and paste here and also uh, just we are required to add a few information delete product video and here uh, instead of product we are going to add here the product hyphen video i'm going to create its route like this and here uh, the product id that is fine okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to create the route for deleting the product video and in the web.php file where we have the uh, this delete route i'm going to copy and here i'm going to delete the product video as well delete product video and uh, the function i'm going to create like delete product video as well and this function i'm going to create inside the press controller i'm going to create at the last okay so i'm going to see we'll do it like this and here i'm going to create the new function for deleting the product video from the folder as well as from the table okay public function uh, product video and here the uh, video id will come uh, sorry product id will come in fact okay so here uh, we are going to first get the uh, product video we need to get to uh, to delete from the folder get product video details okay uh, get product video name okay we can see the get product video uh, from the uh, table itself dollar product video will take one variable and here product select okay and here product video and we are id dollar id first okay and here get product video path we need to get the product video path dollar we will be in one variable dollar product video path okay so here we already know the path front then videos uh, then products okay this is the product video path then we are going to add here the delete product video see commenting is very important from products folder okay from products folder if exists we can also write it like that uh, from uh, from uh, this folder okay from folder we can simply write it like this it is understood the path is already given earlier so uh, there is one syntax uh, there is one function file exists okay php function that we need to use uh, to check that the video actually exists okay in this path here i'm going to check it uh, here that the video actually exists or not this is the video name uh, so uh, we need to use it like this okay and product underscore video product underscore video okay and if it's there then we are going to delete it so unlink is the uh function another function another php function to delete the video from the folder okay so we are going to copy this uh, complete path with the video name 
to delete the video from the folder okay so after deleting it from the folder we are also required to delete it its name from the table as well delete product video uh, name or we can see uh, yeah name uh, product video name from products table okay and here product where id is this one dollar id and we are going to update the table products table uh, with product video we are going to assign empty value to it okay we will not add any value we are going to remove whatever the product video name there okay so last step is just we will uh, send the message uh, okay like product video has been deleted successfully or simply deleted successfully okay whatever you want okay so this one return reject back with success message dollar message okay so now we are going to try this one and we'll see that the product video actually gets deleted or not see here the delete link is not there i'm going to check why the delete link has not appeared okay we have not finished it uh delete uh now it will come okay uh we can here uh, view delete view video uh, see uh, this one just required to show here view and delete video is not required i think just view as well as delete see this nbsp also not required see i want to check it like this view delete fine and this one okay so here is ah, now it seems to be fine view lead okay and uh, if you want to change its color you can also change its color uh, we can make it white as well okay i'm not so good in css uh, okay. go to check it uh, that and now it seems to be better Okay, here color is already there. I'm going to remove this one. And now I'm going to check. Okay, fine. Now it looks fine because it is matching with everything. View and delete is there for viewing the video and for deleting the video. I'm going to check it now for deleting. Delete, click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Okay, no, I'm not sure. I'm going to click on cancel for the first time. And now I'm going to delete. Yes, delete it. Let's see if we able to delete the video see you can see the video has been deleted but the message has not come uh, so um, we are going to put the message there as well in the add edit product uh, success message uh, we are going to put uh, before the form okay in the same way like we are having the uh, message there in the products blade file i'm going to copy this one and we'll put it before the form and now uh, i'm going to add the video and then we are going to remove okay so let's see now this time i'm going to add the video first of all i'm going to add the video uh, so here i'm going to add the video uh, that video that we have downloaded last time i'm going to see any video uh, i just want the short video uh, this is the video of just 1 mb and i'm going to check now click on submit and let's see the video has been added or not this fourth product uh, so i'm going to check it that the video is has been added so that's why view and delete is coming i can able to view this video fine and now i'm going to click on delete 
uh, yes lead it let's see uh, the uh, validation yeah product video has been deleted successfully so the message is coming as well success message is coming after deleting the video so one more thing i'm going to do i'm going to edit the video as well see i'm going to download this video let's see uh, i'm going to uh, download this flash video of 1 mb okay and this is just 1 mb video and flv so i'm going to check it out this one uh, whether uh, we able to upload this video let's see this flv file click on submit and now click on edit once again i'm going to check its table as well flv is there so i'm going to check here product video and here i'm going to check uh, okay so see here it is not showing but it is just uh, uh, downloading it okay so we able to add this video so now i'm going to uh, see this one it's working fine okay so so it's fine so we able to uh, see this video and now i'm going to lead this video uh, yes lead it and now i'm going to upload the another one that we have added earlier okay so i just want to uh, check out the edit functionality that video edit so now i'm going to add the earlier video uh okay so there is another video uh no not this one i'm going to upload the earlier video that we have downloaded this one okay once again i will download the earlier video and just to test that whether the edit is also working okay ad is working fine edit is also working i think delete is also working okay view is also working and we able to edit the video as well see here we able to edit it as well so it's working fine so edit add edit delete view uh product video functionality is working fine and we able to update the edit uh, other things as well i'm going to uh, test it as well that feature item is working fine or not i able to edit it or not okay so i'm going to check it as well that uh, feature item so it's working fine as well so i able to edit the complete product details along with video so in the next video uh we will start working on the product images as well see in the one form product images as well as the attributes we are going to manage from this form only okay images attributes and other things and after that we are going to start working on the front end but before that uh, we are going to modify the routes as well uh i'm going to show you that the alternate way of declaring the routes here uh in laravel 10 okay so that thing also we're going to do very soon so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye